I met him at my college canteen first, and then the second time it was at the culturals. He was hosting a show. In that show, I had few dedications, like few other guys. Uh, they dedicated songs to me. <laughs> I was very curious who is this Vamsi and and I asked one of my friend who is this Vamsi show show to and um, suddenly she comes near by the jukebox to dedicate a song to some one of her friends then uh, and someone said this is Vamsi eye contact always i was looking at him he was looking at me the whole day was like that and then the middle of the day he dedicated a song to me back and then the whole crowd they started teasing us so every time i went up on stage they started shouting raghu raghu <laughs> and then whenever he was on stage they started saying bomsi She was all over the place. She was everywhere. She was she was a very public person. There, there would be hundred people, and Vamsi would be out of that. She would be smile. Her whole face would be smiling. That attracted me because I have not seen a brighter smile than Vamsi. remember that day a bunch of guys were just i i could hear them saying that okay this one this is this is this is something these people were just going about it i really didn't understand anything then now okay now i and now the picture is really clear that night I had won a show there in uh, college. Everybody sent messages like congratulations, Vamsi, happy for you, Dad. But there was only one message like hi, Vamsi, with the wrong spelling. <laughs> And then something told me that it must be him. She knew as soon as I messaged hi, Vamsi, with a smiley, she asked, "Is this Raghu?" with a question mark. I said, "Yes." <laughs> I always used to have my lunch at canteen. So every day he'll make sure he'll come to the canteen for lunch just to meet me. And suddenly one day he said, "Maybe I'll tell my dad um that I like you and maybe he can come and ask for you. Let me know when you like me in the same way." We were not in a relationship. We were somewhere in between. So people wouldn't understand this. So we said yes. Uh, we were we were in a relationship, and that's how it started. His parents were enrolling his profile in a matrimonial, and the very next day, uh, it got matched. So the moment we saw the photograph of Amshi. He said, "We like this photograph. We'll go ahead." He said, "Oh, why didn't you marry this girl? She looks fine." And then he had to act like, "Huh, oh, daddy? Let's see." <laughs> uh, I can't say yes because it'd be very obvious. So I told him, "Okay, let's look at it. Let's take some time." One of my dad's friend was uh, Vamsi's uncle. He told uh, my dad that I think your son is in love with one of my relative girl called Bamsi. She's a very nice girl. And then his father called him and he said, "Do you really know that girl before, or you're just acting? What what is going on?" He was a bit uh, shocked because he didn't uh, expect or any of this from me. So he was a bit shocked in the beginning. Then I told him, "Yes, uh, she's a nice girl. You have to meet them. And the family is a good family. You have to meet them and all." Just like a few hours conversation, he agreed. Both of us were in a shock, and I was literally jumping in Singapore. Like, yeah. 
வம்சியோட டேடி ஞாபகம் தான் வந்தது எனக்கு எனக்கு அம்மானு கூப்பிட்றதுக்குள்ள என்ன சொல்றதுன்னே தெரியல எனக்கு எனக்கு ரொம்ப பிடிச்சிருச்சா அன்னைக்கு எனக்கு ரகுவை பார்த்து dad used to say it was a big intelligence failure from his side so he was saying oh my intelligence didn't work properly i didn't set up an antenna properly <laughs> oh it was very funny அப்பா அம்மா அப்பா 